Hi my little plums, welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. My name is Plumby and today I am going to be bringing you all another part of the Sims 4 Not So Fairy Challenge. So Anthea and Redmond have actually just gotten back from their day at school and Anthea has actually gotten a date with this guy called Max who has actually shown up. So this is Max Villarreal, is it? Hold on. Vill Villarreal. I can never say the last name, but let's quickly check. Oh my god, he is basically... Oh, I remember now, he's one of the townies from Windenburg. I swear, like, I was like, I swear, like, I recognise that name from somewhere, and it's because he's actually one of the kind of bad boy sims from Windenburg. Oh my god, that makes so much sense. So, she is actually going to be going on a date with him. They kind of met at school today, and I think she kind of said to him, like, hey, do you maybe want to go out on a date? So that's exactly what is going to be happening. Poor Redmond, though, is having a really hard day. I feel so bad for him. Oh my god, I'm not sure what's bothering him but something definitely is so I hope he feels better soon. So Anthea has kind of invited Max over and then these two are probably going to be actually heading out somewhere maybe to a park I'm not too sure but they don't seem to be getting along too much I think that Anthea really just wants to go on a date and she knows that maybe Max has had like a crush on her for a while or something and you know I think he's pretty cool and she thinks he's kind of awesome because he's a little bit you know edgy. <laughs> Wrong word choice but I feel like it's right as well so that is why she's kind of planning on kind of going out to the first date with him but she definitely feels really confident about it because she knows that most of the boys in school do have huge crushes on her and she knows she'll get what she wants. I'm just about to get Anthea to actually reveal her crush to Max and he seems to be pretty much into it. Oh my god she just revealed her crush to him and then he out of nowhere started yelling at her and it is because he is evil so I am not surprised but I think that now now I am going to go ahead and get her to ask him out on a date but I can't believe he just accepted like the crush thing and then ended up just yelling at her about something but she's gonna go ahead and ask him out on a date so she's like okay like whatever but do you want to maybe go out somewhere now and he actually said yes to it so it's literally that easy as I said Anthea kind of gets what she wants and who she wants everybody kind of likes her and that is kind of why it's so easy in my head so we are going to be heading to the modern Mexican restaurant okay I think that what Anthea is going to get is she's going to go ahead and get a Cupid juice. They obviously have a lot, a lot of money. So Anthea really does not mind spending 52 simoleons on drinks alone just for a meal with a guy that she isn't that into. Okay, so they've actually eaten their food now. We're going to go ahead and actually get these two to have their first kiss just over here. I'm pretty sure I got Jazz and Sage like propose over here. So I'm not going to get those two to go over there because I don't know, I feel like I want to reserve that romantic spot for my most loved sims, you know, and not to just ruin it with like a date that really doesn't matter at all. <laughs> but I think that, you know, we're going to have our first kiss. I know I'm moving this quite quickly but as I said I don't think Anthea really likes Max she's kind of just being with him because you know he's cool I think she's like you know I really really like you you know you're so cool <laughs> I feel like she doesn't mean it but she still likes to you know lead people on like that oh my gosh no the date just ended oh guys please can you have a first kiss now there we go I'm really really sorry my sims are not cooperating today but here we go Rose Jen's first ever kiss I usually like to reserve the first kisses for like someone more special but because this is Rose Jen I feel like Anthea just wants to get her first kiss over and done with it's not going to be anything too special and there we go okay so she just kissed Max Villarreal before you know it these guys will be in an official relationship oh my goodness oh and there we go he's also kind of revealing the crush as well so we've been on one date now of course I'm not going to go ahead and get these guys to get into a relationship to a relationship can I speak relationship tonight Mainly because I feel like, as I said, I want to rush this relationship because it's the kind of person who Anthea is. I'm like, you know, she's only a teenager at the moment, so it's not going to be anything too serious. But I think that, you know, they only met this afternoon in school. They've already had their first kiss. I'm not also going to make them get into a relationship. But I would say that was quite successful. And Anthea had her first kiss and her first date in one whole night. Good morning, everybody. So it is currently 
7 a.m. and Anthea has just woken up and she is first of all going to go ahead and take a shower but today is Saturday and Anthea is planning on going out partying tonight because I can definitely see her being a party girl and I feel that and I feel like because of that Jupiter is quite unsure on what to do because a part of her is like you know what I shouldn't try and control Anthea too much you know she's her own person but another part of her is kind of thinking you know should I be maybe chatting with Anthea and kind of telling her to, you know maybe not go partying because she has to focus on school jupiter is kind of faced with this kind of decision on does she try and speak to anthea because she's kind of just left anthea to do her own thing because of course anthea doesn't really like jupiter and she's like i don't blame the girl so really jupiter just left her alone but now she's thinking maybe i need to kind of tell her maybe put up a curfew and do something because when they were kids i think it was very much easy but now they're a bit older it is definitely more difficult and anthea kind of does what she wants says what she wants she's definitely kind of of the owner of the house and Jupiter is kind of wondering if she should step in. Redmond on the other hand is you know quite a good kid, he, <laughs> he's just a, a, a good kid like he goes to school and he works hard in school and he's quite easy to you know take care of so Jupiter feels like she kind of understands him and these guys are quite close which is really cute but Anthea on the other hand is a little bit more of a difficult case and anytime Jupiter has tried to talk to her granddaughter Anthea has just been like you know leave me alone you are not sage so you don't get to say anything to me so as we know anthea still has not kind of believed jupiter about what happened to sage she's still kind of thinking that you know something else is going on and it is so you know she <laughs> she has the right to think that because something is going on but i think that jupiter now is actually going to head outside it is really hot today and go she's gonna go ahead and maybe just try and talk to her because she's like thinking like you know in my head it's been like probably a year now since sage kind of left but in the sims world it would have been like four years but we're just gonna pretend it's been a year okay <laughs> since sage left and i think that jupiter's kind of thinking that she wants to try and speak to her granddaughter because she's kind of thinking you know i have to now especially now anthea is thinking about going to parties and she's kind of staying out more late i need to you know i promised sage i would take care of her so i have to you know speak to her a little bit so jupiter's kind of saying excuse me anthea is it okay if we kind of move away from the music and have a little chat and anthea's kind of like oh, whatever but we're gonna go ahead and get these two to head onto this bench over here so jupiter is kind of saying like hey we really need to talk you know and i think anthea is like seriously we do not need to talk if it isn't about my parents sage then i just don't want to hear about it so please can you just let me do my own thing anthea i really do appreciate your privacy but listen i promised sage that i would take care of you and i'm going to have to put up a curfew because i can't have you going out late and this has definitely made anthea quite angry hearing kind of chief to say this i think she's just probably going to have an argument right now and i think anthea is going to just go ahead and and say but i haven't even stayed out that late i literally got back at 10 30 p.m last night i haven't done anything wrong so why are you throwing off a curfew like what is the matter with you why are you trying to control me you're not even my parent and jupiter saying listen i'm your grandmother and right now i'm taking care of you so if i want to put up a curfew for your safety then i am going to do it anthea and there's nothing you can do to stop me i promise sage that i would take care of you and that is exactly what i'm going to be doing i'm putting my foot down so as you guys can tell that kind of just happened there and finally Jupiter kind of st stuck up for herself because I think that you know Anthea has definitely been bossing her around but Anthea is feeling really bad right now so she's just gonna storm off but when we get back I will make sure to set a curfew board up we are just going to go ahead and get Anthea to head out somewhere because she needs to blow off some steam and why not the gym? I think that's a pretty good place to go. So Anthea is currently just doing some working out. I feel like she definitely will get like a gym membership because I feel like she is into, you know, staying in shape and eating healthy and everything. So she's currently just working off some steam at the gym. And Anthea has just spotted one of the kind of popular kids in school and this is Kiyoshi Ito. Please, if I am saying his name wrong, do let me know in the comment section down below. But he is actually one of the kind of popular guys in school. So we're going to get her to go ahead and do a flirty introduction. Now, this is a guy I think she is really, really into. So she is just kind of walking over here with all of her confidence and she is going to do a flirty introduction. Hey, I'm Anthea Berry. I'm not sure if you've heard of me, but I'm kind of a big deal at our school and everything. He's just going to go ahead and say like, oh, hey, yeah, I've definitely seen you around. And she's blowing him 
a kiss and he actually seems to really really like her which is good she's already gotten another sim under her spell <laughs> i think since anthea does really like kiyoshi she really wants to make sure that she doesn't really rush things too quickly of course she's already throwing all the flirts out there she's already actually getting his number but she really actually is kind of into him so she wants to make sure that you know she plays it smoothly and doesn't rush into things too much and she's actually just offered her number and oh he didn't accept it maybe he's like listen lady like i just don't give out my number to random girls i'd have so many people calling me up if i did that and she seems to also be doing a sexy pose which she actually quite likes which is good maybe she's like okay <laughs> well she seemed to play it off pretty cool there though uh but yeah i'm kind of glad he didn't accept it immediately so anthea is gonna have to work a little bit harder and this other guy has actually shown up i'm actually gonna quickly cheat him down to a teenager <laughs> she's gonna go ahead and say hi to him too she's like such a player but she's like oh hi like nice to meet you and everything thing i really do love how she's just kind of flirting with everyone that she can flirt with and she's actually gone a little bit embarrassed usually she never gets embarrassed when rejected because she usually just isn't oh oh my gosh anthea's like oh, i'm so silly maybe he's like weren't you just flirting with my friend over there and she's like oh no i wasn't <laughs> Oh my goodness, Anthea, you need to like calm down. It just isn't Anthea's day today, is it? <laughs> She's failed at, well, she kind of did impress Ke Kiyoshi a little bit. So I'm not going to say she failed at it. It's just she didn't do as well as she thought she would. And with that guy over there, he just full on rejected her. And he was like, you were just flirting with my friend. Why are you flirting with me now? So she's just going to go ahead and use the punching bag to blow off some steam. <laughs> Anthea is now actually hanging out with some of her friends. She kind of called them and was like, hey, like I'm at the gym. Do you guys maybe? want to you know hang out i did age up all of her friends but to be honest i couldn't be bothered to give them a makeover so i did throw out some that didn't really look good anymore in her club but i actually added another sim and that was rashida rashida hopefully i'm pronouncing her name correctly and she is actually a townie from hemford on bagley and i thought she kind of looked like mean girl material but doesn't jane ward literally look so much like her mother judith ward like oh my goodness i love that i feel like jane is probably gonna be anthea's new kind of best friend friend since Vanessa has kind of been you know her main best friend but I feel like these guys aren't as close anymore so Vanessa isn't really her best friend anymore so I think that maybe she's trying to become really really close with Jane now because maybe Jane has become a little bit cooler and as we know Anthea only lets the most coolest of girls in to her club like if you're not cool you're definitely not going to be part of the roses they cannot have anyone tarnishing their reputation so maybe she's kind of saying you know should we maybe kick out Vanessa like he's kind of boring now you know none of the guys in the school like her so maybe we should just kick her out and Judith is like you know what that's actually a good idea so Simone is also saying you know that's a good idea you know I vote you kick her out as well so she's actually gonna go ahead and kind of interrupt this conversation that these two are having and we're gonna kick her out of the roses Vanessa was one of her you know really old best friends if you guys remember when they were kids so she's like fully kicking her out now but she just like doesn't care whatsoever she's like you know what you are not cool anymore so like get out of our club oh my gosh i do feel really bad maybe rashida's like seriously like what's the matter with you anthea I'll happily kick you out to Rashida, okay? So keep your mouth shut. And of course, Rashida is actually not having it, but I think she's like, okay, like whatever. And I think she really does want to stay popular and she'd rather be popular than kind of walk away with Vanessa. So she's not going to say much. So currently, Anthea is kind of just talking with them about, you know, her plans about going partying tonight and kind of inviting them. She's probably also telling them about Max and it actually looks like she's mocking Rashida's outfit. So because Rashida actually stuck up for Vanessa she's kind of being a little bit rude to her so she's kind of like you know maybe you need to make sure you rethink your outfit because it looks kind of bad you know what do you girls think should you know Rashida rethink her outfit she's like oh my gosh seriously I think Rashida is tempted to leave but as we know everyone wants to be part of the roses so she is just gonna stay and have to unfortunately put up with all the insults but it is almost 6 p.m so I think that now they're kind of talking like let's actually head out to the club now and look who's actually here in the club kiyoshi has actually decided to show up maybe she kind
kind of posted on her Instagram that she's going to be out clubbing tonight and Kyoshi kind of saw that and he's like, you know, maybe I will head out as well. <laughs> oh my goodness, so Kyoshi is now making some moves, which is good to see and I think Anthea is definitely like, yes. <laughs> as I stated, Anthea definitely really, really does like Kyoshi over Max, so she is definitely kind of thinking, you know, I need to play this correctly because I generally do actually like this guy a lot and I really think he could be a relationship of mine for a very long time. And right over here, we have Max Villarreal, who's actually looking really, really sad to see that she is flirting with another guy. He's like, seriously? Guys, she's gonna have another first kiss with Kyoshi. As I said, I didn't want to rush things, but I feel like right now, you know, the lighting's perfect. I feel like things are going so well that we're just gonna go ahead and get these two to have their first kiss. So this is probably like her proper, proper first kiss because she definitely does really like him. And there we go. And where is Max? Can we see? Oh, he's just over there dancing. He's kind of like looking away. He's like, seriously? Oh my God. He's like, I can't believe I fell for her. Like I meant to be the heartbreaker, not her. Anthea is very much relieved that he also likes her as well. She's just feeling really really happy not only proud of herself because you know she kissed somebody else but also because she's kind of like okay thank goodness the guy I really really like also likes me as well it has been a very successful night for Anthea so far she feels really really proud of herself and she's just having such a fun time to be honest I think a lot of this kind of party girl side of her definitely stems from trying to you know bury her sorrows for missing Sage I know it's a bit of a weird time to bring it up but I feel like she really just try and bury the sadness about missing sage just by as i said you know going out drinking going out with friends being mean to people bringing them down i think it's all really because she's insecure because she's very unsure about where one of her parents are so she just spends her time buying really expensive drinks to try and drown her sorrows away. So she has kind of just met up with Max down here and she is currently kind of just cheering him up. He's feeling really, really sad. He's like, I'm sorry, I just, I saw you with that other guy and I'm sorry for thinking that you were you know, cheating on me. Although we're not together, I just, I really did believe that. You were just being a heartbreaker and everything. <laughs> Don't think he would have worded it like that, but clearly words are not coming to me today. So <laughs> I'm just gonna <laughs> put it that way. So I'm trying to get these guys to kind of mess around in the wardrobe, but unfortunately the option isn't showing up and when I go and head to romance, it doesn't actually show up with the romantic interactions, which I'm not sure exactly why. It's a bit of shame that that didn't work out, but oh, he's actually giving her a kiss on the cheek. Maybe he's like, okay, I'm glad that you actually like me and that you're not just, you know, going out with any random guy. Although Max does the exact same thing, he's kind of just, I think he isn't just used to having his heart broken, he's used to being the heartbreaker so he's been reassured by Anthea that that isn't true and that she really does like him but of course as we know Anthea is lying to him good morning everybody so it is now the next day and Jupiter has just woken up and she is starting to feel a lot a lot older obviously she is an elder but she has a feeling that you know she definitely isn't getting any younger and her days are definitely becoming a lot more shorter I think she's kind of thinking that you know I, I have a couple of years left obviously but I know that I'm probably not going to be around for very much longer. She keeps trying to, you know, reassure herself that, listen, you know, Amethyst will contact one day and say that, you know, Sage is back with Jazz, but a huge part of her knows that the chances that Jazz, sorry, the chances that Sage actually did end up rescuing Jazz out of jail and then actually getting out alive and, you know, well is very very slim and she's kind of thinking that you know what's going to happen to Anthea in Redmond when I'm gone like of course they'll be young adults by then but they'll be left with no family and no answers maybe I should just tell them the truth now they're older I mean they're not children anymore they can understand what I'm going to tell them and they'll probably well Redmond will probably respond quite well to it so Jupiter is very stuck on what to do she just is really really stuck and she's trying to you know just take one day at a time but months are ticking on and still amethyst has been telling her there's been no updates and sage has not returned with jazz yet speaking of taking one day at a time because anthea came home so late last night at the time of 2 a.m and definitely worried jupiter she has decided that she is going to add a curfew board so as you guys can tell there we go she has added it for a 11 p.m she doesn't want to be too strict and as we can tell anthea has already woken 
like not been a really bad mood it's like she senses that a curfew has been put in place <laughs> so down she comes she spotted the board and now she is going to go ahead and rant and rave at poor jupiter she is just gonna go ahead and say are you kidding me like are you actually kidding me oh there we go anthea is being rude to jupiter and jupiter's trying to be like <laughs> oh my god i feel like jupiter's definitely quite smug i think she's like listen anthea you should have come home at around 10 p.m it's your own fault you should have listened to me i did warn you and you didn't listen so jupiter is being a little bit sassy which i do love she definitely is proud of herself anthea on the other hand is probably trying to list all the reasons why the curfew needs to go and jupiter just keeps riling her up which i kind of love i'm glad that jupiter's kind of sticking up for herself because i feel like anthea definitely does kind of push jupiter around like since jupiter even started caring for her she's always just treated her like dirt on her shoe so i'm really really happy that our girl jupiter is kind of being more sassy to anthea which i do love to see today anthea is planning on actually going out on a another date mainly because i do want to check this off and she also does need to have a boyfriend or a girlfriend so my plan is that i'm going to go ahead and get her to hop into a relationship with kiyoshi and that will mean breaking the heart of max which i think she's definitely looking forward to because i think she's like well aware that max is another one of the more like bad boy heartbreakers in the school so she is kind of as evil as, as it is she's actually looking forward to breaking max's heart because sometimes she does feel quite bad but with max she's actually looking forward to it so she is going to be heading out straight away and she has just sent two messages to max and kiyoshi and she's telling them both to meet her at the desert bloom park anthea has actually just gone ahead and revealed her crush to him right in front of max and max does not look happy with this oh my goodness he is walking off and he looks so sad and she did this purposely she really wanted to make sure that max kind of saw her kind of tell kyoshi that hey i think you're pretty cool and i like you and max as we can tell feels as if he has been fooled i would feel bad for the guy but because he is also a heartbreaker i really cannot on all Oh my gosh look he is so mad right now and kiyoshi does seem pretty happy with himself <laughs> he doesn't actually realize that max over there is looking completely heartbroken but anthea loves to mess with people oh he's crying as evil as it is she just loves to see people get the heart broken and she feels she's a bit of a control freak not in a really really bad way but of course in quite a bad way because of course she really loves to just have them both around and she just loved breaking max's heart kiyoshi is actually going somewhere so i think that now she is gonna mock his sadness she's turning into a really not nice person but as i said this is very realistic because that's what happens when you're a parent and you decide to go ahead and head off to a complete another planet to look for your long lost partner <laughs> But she is now kind of saying to him, like, listen, Max, you were a heartbreaker in school as well. Now you've kind of had a taste of your own medicine. She is now just having a little chat with Kiyoshi and everything. And it's just so adorable. So I think that she's kind of thinking that she really wants to go out on a date with him. So she's like, hey, you know, why don't we head out on a date together? I feel like we both like each other. So let's just go out on a date. I think that could be really, really fun kiyoshi so these two are probably now gonna head out of the park they've spent like i would say around three hours here so we have spent long enough and i think that these guys are probably just gonna head to the rattlesnake juice bar now they're at the bar i think that anthea is kind of planning on kind of asking him if he wants to make it official so she's kind of trying to think up what she is going to say to him anthea i know i'm like making them move quite fast but as i said she definitely isn't gonna end up with kiyoshi and i feel like she is the kind of person and of course since she is a player she does move on really really quickly and she tries to you know rush lots of relationships because that's just kind of the person that anthea is she doesn't like to you know be with the same person for too long so as you guys can tell i just added in a wardrobe and now these guys are gonna mess around a little bit which is gonna be really really fun fun so we're just gonna go ahead and speed this up and there we go i also think i am going to be wrapping up this part here i really really hope you guys did enjoy it of course as we know anthea definitely did go on tons of dates she broke tons of hearts and we are only just getting started with the rose gen but i feel like it does 
fit so yeah let me know what you guys think as i said i am planning on actually probably getting her to get into a relationship with kiyoshi because she really wants to be in a relationship but obviously it won't last for long because she'll probably cheat on him so i really really hope you guys did enjoy i'm really happy that we've kind of started to begin the rose gen requirements and everything and the rose gen objectives and I feel like Anthea is a really fun sim to play with on the outside she may look like you know your typical party girl kind of player who is with tons of different people but this is just because of course the absence of Sage to be honest it really did hurt her and as I said at the bar or at the nightclub she's just trying to you know drown her sorrows with being mean and taking it out on others so let me know what you think about Anthea and what your thoughts are on her and kind of her future and where you expect her to go and as I always say if if you have any suggestions that you'd like me to kind of add into the let's play whether they be storyline or really anything do let me know your ideas in the comment section down below i have a little bit of a feeling that we are also going to be getting some updates on sage and jazz in the next part so if you guys did enjoy do not forget to leave a like and subscribe we'd love to have you join the plum family and i'll be seeing you all in the next video a quick thank you to all of the channel members. Thank you Kristen, Cottage Crossing, The Mint Plum Bob Florida, Michelle Monroe, Snowy Blaze, Meadows Hearth, Daiki Midoriya, Nanny Bay, Cat Lover 2788, McKenna, Robin Ivy Louise, Gianna Hicks, M. Howe, Redalia Griffin, Sky Perry, and Callisto Eris. I really do appreciate it.